Begin broadcast. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, hello, this is the Art of Warlord, and today I'm accompanied by a Minotaur. <laughs> well, if you are, if your friends list was uh, not hitting the friends, you would be. I'm on my uh, character selection page right now. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get another Minotaur. Oh, okay. Transformation. Okay. I wish uh, uh, these would work for when you're on a mount. I would love to see a Minotaur riding a pogo stick. <laughs> Uh, okay, serious now. Uh, this is the Auto Warlord here, and I am being accompanied today in this video by M Glacium. Oh yeah, we did that professionally this time. <laughs> well, now we got to start over because uh, he gave away the professionalism. Okay. <laughs> non nonstop. <laughs> uh, today we will be teaching you about how to glitch in Wizard 101. In many different ways, there's the simple form and the more advanced forms, and how to use your castle blocks correctly. Well, not even correctly, just anyway, really. There's like a bug in front of me, okay. You can teleport, and then I'll go back to hidden to friends. So, today I want to teach you how to use many different methods for glitching. I have my basic pieces here today. Grab all these. I have all the basic pieces here today to teach you how to glitch items using castle blocks. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to Get into your field of vision without oh. interrupting you. Oh, okay. Uh, today, I'm teaching you what to buy for glitching, all the stuff that you'll need. And Alex will forever be known as the Mighty Minotaur. The mightiest of Minotaurs, hear me roar. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, um basic things that you need, almost need, for glitching are two tatami floor mats. They're some of the smallest in the game. And crates. I would say a minimum of three, just in case you start messing up. It's this... a crate number. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Yes! Uh, okay, so, first step in glitching an object on to, like, how, like how to move an object into a space that you normally can't, is you take the tatami floor mat, and usually you can take a lar like a stitched rug, or a large watcher rug, and you barely overlap the edges. And then you go up to the edge, and... of, like, you can't go over here, you go over to the small area over here. I love how I just say here. And you see, you have the rug in a place that you normally cannot. And you can place objects. So you can't place objects here. You can place objects here. Can't place them here, but you can place them here. Um, another thing that you can do is... Let's say that you want this bench to be closer to the wall. You take this tatami floor mat, put the bench on it, and get it close to the wall, like that. So you see it's barely, it's probably touching the wall, but it's closer to the wall. And then how you remove that rug is you take the other tatami floor mat, or any rug that you have, overlap it barely. You can see how they're overlapping right there. And you pick up the one that's farthest away. Ta-da! Another thing that you can do is with castle blocks. I I like to think I've come up with this method myself because I've never heard of anyone else using this. And this is how I made for my house with the Mass Fantasy Palace a wooden platform ring going around the entire arena. What you do is that you have 
the large washer rug and the, t the tatami floor mat. You take two wooden crates and you set the tatami floor mat with the glitched large washer rug onto the, the crates and take the crate that's touching both mats and then you can use your scroll bar right here to move it. It's a lot easier in my opinion. Um, you do that until you have it in the direction that I have it facing. And then you place it towards the edge corner. Put down a large what is this? A uh, large castle block for floor and ceiling. And then place it down. And then you get a large staircase or a wide staircase. You can even have an arrow staircase. And you get up here. So then you're gonna be near the edge. And then you take a large wooden uh, block. And then Take that away, and whenever you look up, you have a glitched castle block freestanding at the top of the castle. I feel kind of like, like I'm just saying this a lot, castle block, or castle, because it's a major part of it. Um, is that about right? No, yeah, okay. I was talking to you, Alex. Yeah, I know. I was trying to get into a position to see. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Uh, and then what you just... You keep on... Where is it? Sometimes you can use your other crate to mark it. Nope, not close enough. We have... Is, is the other stream starting in like... An hour? Yeah. Okay. Alex is here to teach you another form of castle blocks. It's a more... Not castle blocks of... Well, it is castle blocks, but it's also glitching. It's more advanced, in my opinion. Than this. It's a glorious time. You say so. <laughs> uh... The thing with glitching is just you know, all of it is a process. If you find that one thing doesn't work, then, uh, you know, you're kind of forced to mess around and figure out what will work, or you'll have to try something altogether different than what you originally wanted. So, yeah, this is, uh,. This is the effect. As you can see, it's flush up to the side of the arena. Uh, the one thing that people use is the large. What's it called? The the flat wooden platforms. I personally don't like those because you can see that there's hollow space underneath, and I I don't like how that looks. So I use castle blocks instead because they're more 4D than the, the three-dimensional hollow board thing. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, that's how you do this glitch. And you can do it all the way around the arena. Until all of it is filled with these large wooden castle blocks. I've done it before, it's not that hard. You, you can you can get to every single space don't worry like even along the edges you can get to it um, over here you might have to glitch the castle blocks into the side which I found a bit annoying but I think it's just tall enough to go to be below the edge on the second floor so it doesn't look as bad I'm um, honestly um, surprised that there's no like triangle floor blocks or anything. There is, but they're not. They're not really. They're all doorways, or they're all corners. Yeah. 
But there's no. I wish. I, yeah, that's one of the things I wish that they had. Then I'd probably break all of my houses. <laughs> You've already broken a couple. <laughs> Listen. Uh. Heavily glitched areas and freaking white walls. He, uh, oh, each time he glitches a house, he glitches it so heavily that there's literally across the screen white, like, white walls that you can't even see past. And it's really yeah. annoying. But you'll exit, enter and exit the house again, and they won't be there. It only ever happens right after he glitches. <laughs> See, how this began was, uh, it was either you or Sammy who introduced me to glitching. And then I slowly began, there was a bit of a learning curve, but I slowly began learning. And then I mastered the basics, and then I kind of went crazy. <laughs> okay, so everyone saw how I made this piece. Hopefully, if not, rewind the video. Here, Alex, is a magical story again. <laughs> um, and then you need a large castle block and a medium castle block for the walls and a colored light strand and then I know that there's a tutorial somewhere on this I don't know where I just figured I'd make a video for it um, okay so you see how this light strand is taller now than it would be if I just kept it on the ground it is about three wizard feet taller than it normally would be. So you can walk under it. You won't get stuck. Maybe Alex's horns. <laughs> um, but what you do is that you take these fancy lamp posts and you line them up right next to it. Oh, oh, dang it. Okay. We got into the arena gap, so I can't. <laughs> yeah, the space for that is huge. Okay. Yeah, I go. It starts right here. Why do Why do you need it? That. Um. Because if you glitch, um, with PvP arenas, I've done this before. I can show you guys later in the video. But if you glitch, um large enough objects and get them into the actual player circles then the once the duel is over they'll be stuck and you see it's still possible to do that it's just why do you need the safe zone if people can just break the rules anyway <laughs> yeah um okay so the point about this is get them both lined up to about the same area and then you have a light strand hanging from light posts and it'll look nice and pretty Alex doesn't think it's pretty, but I think it's pretty. Oh no, I like it, it's just... <laughs> Gotta try some things with it eventually, if I ever get my hands on some lights. Christmas time, man, Christmas time. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll be here before we know it. Uh, next trick is you take this castle block, and then you take a teleport tapestry and you set it down. It's not really that hard. And you pick up the castle block, and it ha you have a free hanging sign. You can get it closer to the wall by taking your handy dandy to Tommy Floor Mat. Oh, wait, actually, I already have one of that. Tommy Floor Mat, and then put your uh, flat, flat wooden platform, and moving it into the wall. And then from there, you take your castle block, and you put it partially through the wall, and then you set that down, pick up your castle block, and pick up all that, and then you see you have a closer to the wall hanging tapestry, which then you can decorate with a hedgerow, you can probably actually glitch the hedgerow a bit closer. Mm -hmm. There we go. Move it... Closer. There you go. So there you go. You see, you decorate it up a bit. And for some reason, my camera just turned off. Is it out of memory again? I think it's out of battery. 
Well. Yeah, it's out of battery. Yes. <laughs> I should have charged you. <laughs> uh, spontaneous technical difficulties are always the greatest. I know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you can make it look nice right here by having the hedgerow in that, and you can even lighten it up a bit more by putting a park bench, maybe put your, your lights next to it so that it's all nice and pretty and decorated. And then you have that nice piece of arena outline that you normally can't. Uh, okay, well now that we're done here... Let's go check out Alex's house so he can show us the magical glitches he does. And we are going away. <laughs> Minotaur <Ooh>. screech. <laughs> <laughs> My friend wishes not to be disturbed. Oh, true me. <laughs> there we go. I always do that. I see your true form. <laughs> your Malister. He who does not wish to be disturbed. You're Malister, I saw you. It was I really? Yes. Yes. My Malister's robes on. 